Hey guys, it's Simon here, and maybe you want to learn this lick. Let me start by saying that this might look hard and uh, it sounds much more impressive than what it really is. Basically, it is uh, the minor seven arpeggio played in two different positions that, uh, that I use all the time. And it is this shape right here. And what I'm playing is I'm playing from B and hammering on to D. And then I'm sweeping through the strings to the F sharp note. And then I'm playing from F sharp to A and hammering on to B. And then I'm sliding up a whole step to C sharp. And when I'm sliding up to C sharp, then I'm sweep picking into the E right here. And then from E I'm playing the G and hammering on to B like this. So it's this shape. So when I get to the B note, I'm pulling off to G again. So it's B to G to E to B and sliding down to A like this. And then I'm playing the rest of the B minor seven arpeggio. And as you'll notice, it's basically the same shape as this B minor seven arpeggio. Played a whole step above, which would be the C sharp minor arpeggio like this. But because a lot of the song is uh, played in uh, E minor, I'm playing the uh, the G note all the time like this. So I'm really hitting that G a lot of times in the song, so I don't want to hit the G sharp. And that's why I'm lowering just one note in the uh, C sharp minor seven arpeggio like this. You know, instead of playing G sharp, I'm lowering this a half step too. So another way of looking at it is that I'm playing this B minor seven arpeggio and then I'm just playing outside of the arpeggio, but I'm staying within the key of the song, adding notes, and then I'm going back into the B minor uh, seven arpeggio like this. And that's basically the lick. Well, folks, there you have it. I really hope you dig this kind of lick. I personally enjoy playing these arpeggio shapes and then taking a detour, adding outside notes, and then getting back into the shape. And uh, hopefully you want to learn this uh, minus seven arpeggio shape because in one of the next videos, I'll be showing you how to add cool outside chromatic notes to that shape to get a more fusion kind of sound. So if you dig that, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button. If you dig it, leave a comment under the video and make sure you share it with all your friends. I'll be really grateful. So come back and see me for much more videos. Take care.